KPN Quest is a data-centric, IP-centric telecommunications provider, which means we help customers transmit their data over a wide area network uh, across their offices, across the, around the world, by extension and partnership with Quest Communications in the U.S., North America, and into Asia as well. And we're also a large uh, hosting provider and looking to take a market leadership role as the industry, the hosting industry, goes through a consolidation and shakeout phase. I think there's a real opportunity to partner together, uh, KPN Quest and HP, to provide solutions. I think that in this market, uh, it can't be everything to everyone, so it's imperative that you partner with folks like uh, HP from a KPN Quest perspective to provide a full service solution to the customer that can include uh, high end SAP application management, uh, Oracle database management, and some of the higher value added services that KPN Quest does not currently have the capability pr to provide. So we can partner with HP to bring those services and full solutions to our customers. KPN Quest as a company was founded uh, back in April 99. Uh, two very uh, strong founders uh, KPN Telecom, the Dutch incumbent operator, and Quest Communications from the States. And uh, back in April 99, they were founded, and we started working on the account uh, somewhere in October, so the end of that year. And um, pretty soon it became clear that um, it was a strategic fit between uh, HP and KPN Quest. HP was looking for uh, service providers to sell services in the marketplace, so where they wouldn't go directly with the direct sales force, but the strategy was to work together with service providers, try to sell our product and services via those service providers. And KPN Quest was looking for strong partners to help them to get presence in the marketplace. So we started talking uh, with each other, as I said, two years ago, and um, what made it very strong at that time, very strong foundation, is that uh, HP was also looking for a wide area network service provider in Europe. So the basic foundation is, is that we make use of services of KPN Quest, and KPN Quest is making uh, use of products and services of HP. What you see now is that the situation has changed, uh, it's difficult to sell services in the marketplace, demand has decreased instead of increased. So currently we are more focused on try to sell the services that we have developed already instead of building new services. So the focus is on selling, selling the existing portfolio that we have developed together. Uh, trying to find new customers in Europe, try to work together with partners to get more business to KPN, Quest and HP. So that's one thing that has changed, focus on selling. The other uh, thing that has changed is that there's more focus now also on cost cutting, efficiency. And that's also a space where HP could help KPN Quest. Uh, HP Operations, HPO, as a company, can offer uh, solutions to KPN Quest to cut down on costs. Outsourcing agreements, uh, managing uh, cyber centers, managing IT facilities of KPN Quest. That's clearly something that we can address at the moment. So the whole approach that HP needs to take towards KPN Quest is not the traditional approach of bringing in uh, products or even solutions, but it's together working on a business case to invent um, where we can find the business together and working from the business case towards a solution. So the uh, whole approach changes from a solution driven toward, towards a finance or business case driven um, uh, engagement. Of course, it needs changes, uh, changes in our skill, uh, changes in our approach, and uh, we'll get there. Uh, at the moment, uh, we're starting up this new approach, uh, you know, becoming a, a more business case-driven uh, kind of a partnership, and uh, we'll get there. In general, I would say that uh, KPN Quest is working in a very uh, capital-intensive uh, industry. And by providing uh, financing programs, we uh, share risk and we provide cash. And I would say that's very important to uh, service providers like KP Inquest. We are one of the few companies that have a very strong local sales force. And um, by addressing that local sales force and motivating that local sales force to do business for KP Quest, I think that's also a strong asset. The key for us is to find a way how to motivate those people to be successful. And um, we launched a program called the Service Provider Program uh, half a year ago, 
KPN Quest is one of the elite partners in that program, and that program really helps us in dealing with those local issues and also solving coordination issues that we might have. I think HP has a number of uh, strengths and weaknesses as I eva evaluate them uh, as, a, as a partner for me. From the strength side, clearly the brand of the HP brand is very important to me. The geographic scope, not only in Europe, but by extension into North America and throughout the world. And Quest Communications International, one of my parents, has a strong relationship with HP in the U.S. And that's important to me as well. Um, and then the products and services they bring to, to the market. Everything ranging from boxes and servers to managed applications, which I've mentioned a couple of times. Uh, in addition to that, I think the, the, the people are a, a key asset for uh, HP as well. I've been very impressed working with my counterparts at Hewlett Packard, specifically Carlo Magistrelli, then Blauber, and others, how they partnered with me in finding creative solutions to either solve our customers' problems or, frankly, solve some of our own partner problems as well. And what I mean by that is, and, you know, good partners don't always look back to the fine line of the contract to try to enforce it, but rather find creative solutions, recognizing that the uh, economic climate changes and we need to evolve the partnership and respond to it in such a way that both partners continue to derive value from the relationship on an ongoing basis. And I think those are some of the, the, the key strengths that I find from, uh, from my HP partners. On the weaknesses side, we have what uh, we consider to be a pan-European relationship in the joint alliance and agreement that we uh, executed, we kept being executed with Hewlett Packard. And one of the challenges we're finding is um, spreading that contract and uh, having it uh, roll out to the individual countries seems to be a bit of a challenge. So we need to figure out the right uh, marketing mix, product price, placement promotion, as well as uh, compensation uh, and what we're paying people to drive the right behavior to support the, the partnership on an in-country basis. I think that's a real opportunity and something we'll have to, we'll have to solve fairly early on in 2002.